Hello everyone, good morning. We're at the annual Ross on Wye clean sale. Today we've got plenty of sheep in. We're selling ewe lambs and tups today. So give me a quick intro, we're gonna look around, hope you enjoy, and fingers crossed, the sales goes to plan. Today we are at the annual pedigree clean sale at Ross and Wye. The sale consists of ewe lambs, ewes and tups with females sold in groups and tups sold individually. It was great to catch up with many usual faces with a cracking display of sheep on show. Totally just over 800 heads. Let's get back to it and see what we brought along today to sell ourselves. Well, we came down last night and dropped all the sheep off. We got 20 ewe lambs in, so we got four pens of five. Mixture of breeding, probably the best stuff we've ever bought to Ross, especially his first two pens. Really good. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, on top of the ewe lambs, we also have the tuts, which are down there. We're going to take a quick look at them. But yeah. Sold in four lots of five. We have three rams in. We have the two that we've been showing this year, which is that one and that one. And then we got this ram that we've got on top. So probably the best the best three rams we've had this year. So they're always a bit of a gamble and just see what happens with them. Fingers crossed for you lambs they sell well because usually here they do fairly well. <laughs> is uh, all right, like about 190, 200 seems decent price for the shearlings. So as we get well into the sale of shearling ewes, we take a quick look back at the evening before as I was kindly asked to judge this class, with my first place about to come into the ring, a really nice pen from Ray Castle Clins. <laughs> Well, might be in trouble for doing that, but five more years to add to the flock. Um, wasn't meant to be buying anything today, but yeah, obviously I was judging last night, judged them first prize, and uh, yeah, really liked them, so went and bought them. That is the shearlings down. Now we are on to the ulams, so we just wait. I'm oh, sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so we're just waiting to go now. Obviously, four pens, and before now, in not long, we'll be going to starting up there. Work our way down all these, sold a pen at a time. Fingers crossed. Need to make some money back now. Let's go. Right, we're next in, ready, waiting. Rings there. Fingers crossed. What a pen of you look at the strength, look at the power they have, look at the stick, there we go. What a good break. One 
Right, that is a sale done. We are packed up, ready to go. Unfortunately, we are bringing stuff home. We have those two rams that didn't sell, but it's not the end of the world because the other stuff that's coming home is stuff we've bought. And uh, like, and Colin's just looking at us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants us to move. Right, you hold the camera, so. We're holding people. So yeah, I was saying, yeah, we didn't sell two rams, but for the day, <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, for the day, that ram itself for 500 was good money, like 
well, I bet over half didn't sell the yeah. pounds. Like, it was ridiculous. It's a shame. I think it's a knock on from last year because we had no grass. A lot of people sold ewes, so down on numbers. So today the ewe prices are up, but they don't need the ramp power as they don't have the ewes yet. So it's one of them. It'll be different next year, it's different every year. Um, I'm happy. What highest price we've ever sold ewe lambs at, so £150 a head. Can't compare that. The only thing you can complain about it's been blowing about 30 degrees for the last 36 <laughs> hours, so we've probably lost some out of stone in weight. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. It's been another good time out of Ross. Um, we'll see you next time. And if you want a round, I've got two very good ones in the back <laughs> available.